Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the second International Summer School on Underground Hydrogen Storage. It's my true honor to host you all here. In order to accelerate hydrogen economy for the world, we need all of you. It's, it's, it's like we're, we're, we're creating or, or establishing the DNA for underground hydrogen storage. And this figure shows that the cheapest way to transport energy is a liquid in a pipeline. In my view, hydrogen underground storage and underground gas storage in mechanics share very big similarities. The thing now to do is, is really uh, share the, the narrative around hydrogen storage, share what it will mean for energy security. <laughs> what is the effect of biogeochemical reactions on the mechanical properties? You know, we haven't even got enough hydrogen to fill a test borehole. So how on earth are we going to fill a depleted gas field? But the salt is a strange rocks. All the salt, literally all the salt that we are looking, they are deformed. All the operators want to test. And then I ask them, what do you want to test? And then they tell me, you tell me what I need to test. <laughs> Actually the view on, the, on the, the drilling rig, so it's fully operational. So that has an open connection to the reservoir. But we can move. Uh, for the energy transition, we need the subsurface. And there's even much more potential for, for producing hydrogen for, from these removals than, than there is actually demand, so that's in itself good news. And just to be mindful about that we can do a lot by visualising things. Such an amazing opportunity to be with all these experts here in one room for the entire week. And it was very, very nice to do some networking all the people. Great opportunity to learn new things. Very nice. Fantastic. This is coming to end and I have the great pleasure and honor to announce that the next chair of the International Summer School will be our own Catriona Edelman. Really, really happy to welcome you all to Edinburgh next year. You're all very welcome.